Derek and I are playing hide and seek. I'm sure he ran into here. He's really, really good at it. Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So. Productions. It's now October. Gold is storing. 164 litres we have so far. And that's because we need a lot more stones. I'm going to deactivate that for now. Um, I've deactivated flour. Also, we have um, too much butter, basically. So I've switched the cheese back on. Um, right, I sort of need this over here because we need to be plowing this field this month or do we I don't suppose we absolutely need to to be perfectly honest it's uh, it's not going to be planted until spring I'm going to leave that there for a minute what we do need to do though is the um, the sugar cane is now at the stage of remove foliage. Now I'm pretty sure I don't need to do anything special before I get the harvester on it, but I do need a trailer over. Oh, this trailer's full of chaff. Ah, oh, that is a problem. Right. We were going to... I want a cheap pit. And I can put it over here. Uh, bunker silo. Hmm. I had one of these once. Uh, right. Let's go with this one. We will put it at that angle. I shall get rid of the... Oh, it's a manure heap. Oh, you fool boy. I don't want a manure pit. That's a manure heap. Bunker silo. Right. There. Oh, well, that's frustrating. Well, let's go get rid of that tree in front of it. And then we'll dump all of this in it. Really infuriating, that is. just about pick that up so good that can go there for now let's get this chaff emptied into the pit
Because all we need right now is the trailer. There we go. Right, let's head over to the sugar cane. And what I really want to be doing is making cakes by the end of today. Right then, so um, I don't suppose I can put Hang on, I just got back in the same tractor. I really, really want to have a go with this harvester. But I'm not sure if it'll work. Oh, I need to... It was unfolded. Oh. Uh, that doesn't appear to be working. Right, maybe I have to drive the trailer underneath it then. Not really sure. Yep. Oh, well, this is really cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's leaving a swath as well. What's the swath for? Ooh. to make sure I'm close enough then right then uh, so I guess Derek and I will get this uh, this field done I'm getting further away again aren't I So yes, Derek and I will get this field done, and we'll um, see you in a bit. Stumbling out of bed, and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted, and I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. Well, we've done three and a bit rows and I already have a trailer full. So this is going to be extremely productive. Like, extremely productive. I'm glad I only did a small field of it. Still not sure about what swath is, is being left behind it and what I have to do with it. Maybe it's something I could use a bio baler on, possibly. Not sure.
Anyway, let's get this emptied into here and start sugar production. Oh, I don't want to do grain door, do I? There we go. Right, now we can start off sugar production. And we get pig food out of it as well. So how about that? Activate that. And we'll go and get some more. I'm not against getting some pigs. A bit more slurry that way, but we need it. I mean, a huge amount of slurry from the cows and a huge amount of um, manure as well that we haven't even started to use. Ah, let me just make sure that sugar is on distributing. There we go. And it should be coming into here, which means that all they'll need is milk and eggs, and we can do that today. I reckon probably another trailer load of sugar cane. Now let's get the sugar cane done. And then we'll then we'll move the uh, the milk and eggs. Gone. One of the reasons that I wanted to get that field ploughed up last time is I wanted to get wheat in it this month. So I think we need to set. Oh no. Derek's in the harvester. We can't set him off doing that. Well, we'll just have to get the sugar cane done, and if we can't put wheat in, we can't put wheat in. A bit of a pain, because in the UK we'd be able to plant wheat in, um, in the spring, but not here. We could do oats in the spring, but uh, not wheat. We'll just have to see how it goes.
Right, well, that was an absolutely mammoth job. I'm not sure. why it won't harvest for me but it will for the helper ah oh. oh I hadn't lowered it silly boy either way we still need to follow it with the trailer so I couldn't have done it oh well, we might have to leave all these bitty bits around the edge. Not a lot I can do about that. Derek keeps thinking that uh, he's finished when he hasn't. He has been working hard though, bless him. Imagine how long it would have taken if I'd had to shift the trailer up next to it every five minutes. Because there's no way... I can put that on a worker. I could do follow me, but I don't have that installed. Right then. I kind of feel like that's the sugarcane harvest done. Now, what about all this stuff it's thrown out? Is that stuff that I can pick up or not? I don't know. I've been assured that her, that sugar cane grows back, but not, at the minute, I'm not sure that it does. I know poplar does. Poplar grows back when you harvest it, but I don't know if sugar cane does. Well, we'll, say, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? We will have to wait and see. Anyway, we have got a lot of sugar cane. 166,000 litres and that doesn't include already the amount that it's um, um, amount that it's turned into sugar which is 63,000 litres and 7,000 litres in, in there as well filling up the, um, the storage in the bakery we also have 26 nearly 27,000 litres of pig food there and we've got another sort of 8,000 litres maybe 8 9,000 litres outside in bags. I think it would be silly not to get pigs at this stage. It was basically just free slurry and manure, isn't it? But that's the sugarcane harvest and what a job that was that took a very long time as you saw so we're not going to get the wheat in today unfortunately so we won't be doing wheat or barley next year we 
could would probably be doing oats or something. But what we do need to do right now, and I'm going to use there it was the other tractor. We need to drop the stone fork off. Stone fork, stone bucket off. Drop that off here. We need the pallet fork. Because I need to get well, one pallet of sugar that spawned before I distributed into the bakery. We need to get the milk that we've produced into the bakery, which means getting rid of this water. I think I'll go and drain it out in a field. Or back into the lake. There we go, it's drained back into the lake. So we'll get the milk picked up and move to the dairy this... Uh, sorry, to the... Oh, hello. Oh, that's where I put the stone bucket. <laughs> Dear. We're also getting a lot of slurry build-up in the cow barn. And we need to get that spread onto our two... Two un... Uh, unseeded fields at the minute. Um, potentially even onto the uh, sugarcane field. I don't know. Right. Where do I put this into the bakery? Is it around this side? Yes, it is. Hopefully it will fit in. Yep. Right. I'll leave that there. No, I won't, because that's in the way there now. So we need to keep the dairy topped up with milk, but we also need to keep the um, bakery topped up with milk. But luckily the cows are producing enough milk. So I've got one pallet of sugar that spawned over here before we started distributing. Where is that? There it is. With all the pig food. We need to get that over. Then we need to get our pallet of eggs over as well. I've got a feeling that we are going to start needing more eggs than those chickens can produce there. We might have to look at increasing our capacity of chickens. The chickens and Oh yes, it's full of sugar, isn't it? Right. Let's go get the eggs. I may well end up selling that pallet at some point because uh, I'm not sure whether it will take the stuff from the factory first or whether it will take the stuff from that pallet first. But uh, either way. We're going to take the full pallet of eggs here. Just balance precariously on that one fork on that one time you can't make cakes without breaking a few eggs although I don't really want them broken all over the tarmac probably let the chefs sort of deal with it in the bakery I would think right breaks 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 there we go that's the eggs going in which means bakery as it's loading a thousand eggs in it's going to be the eggs that are going to be the stopper on this oh no it's more than a thousand look at that how many per pallet then 
well, it must be that many per pallet. <laughs> okay. Activate. We are making cake. Superb. Well, next time, we're going to be harvesting the corn, which is going to be another mammoth job. Um, moving what other eggs we've got over to the bakery. We'll get that chaff picked up off the floor and put into the bunker silo. And we'll get the slurry spread on the field as well. It's going to be a big episode next time as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.